Welcome to the Hundred Dollar MBA Show, and today is a Q and A weekend episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you want to ask a question, just email us at contact at one hundred MBA dot net, or use our Speak It option where you can record your question. We'll play right here on the air. Check out our show page to learn how to do that at one hundred MBA dot net slash show. As always, I'm your coach, your host, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. Today's question comes from Brad, and Brad has a very special and interesting question when it comes to pricing his product, his membership program, actually. And he's asking, if I price my membership program at a one-time fee, what's next? How do I continue to make revenue? Does this model work? I'm going to go into detail with the answer to Brant's question in today's episode. So let's get down to business. This episode of the $100 MBA show is brought to you by Nadex, binary options trading. Our listeners can appreciate how far $100 can go. And so does Nadex. With just $100, you can get started. With Natix Binary Options, you trade on whether you think the market will be above or below a certain point by a certain time. Go to Natix.com and open up a free account. That's Natix.com, N-A-D-E-X.com. Futures, options, and swaps trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Let me read out Brad's full question because he goes into a bit of detail when it comes to pricing a membership program. So Brad says, I created an online membership site and sold a whopping two subscriptions. It was crushing and frustrating. I feel you, Brad. I have been there. But I have a question if you don't mind. The membership is an annual subscription and I'm second guessing it. I'm thinking about making it a one-time fee like the $100 MBA. But then what? Do you pitch other products after someone joins the $100 MBA? I mean, $97 or $100 in your case for a lifetime membership is fairly limited, right? I would love to get your perspective on this because I know that a lot of people do what you do and I'm guessing there is something that makes sense about it. All the best, Brad. First things first, Brad, do not feel discouraged. I've been there before. I've sold products that only sold two. I've sold products that only sold zero. <laughs> so it's all good. So let me answer your question when it comes to memberships and the reason why the $100 bait is $100 one-time fee for a lifetime membership. Nicole and I intentionally did this for a reason. Now you have a second part to the question you asked, do you pitch other products to your members after they buy to something that's a little bit more expensive? I'm gonna get into that as well. So let me talk about first of all why we decided to go with the one-time fee. First of all, I believe as an entrepreneur that you should always have different layers of trust. So there's a certain amount of trust I have to earn for you to listen to the show. So that means maybe the first minute or the first episode you listen to, I build trust for you to become a subscriber so you can listen every day or regularly. So I've earned your subscription and I built that trust by the value I provide through the show, hopefully, right? The next level of trust is you've trusted me enough with your time by subscribing to the show. You may want to take a look at the $100 MBA if it's for you. You may want to join the $100 MBA for $100. So the $100 MBA is a one-time fee and I want to build more trust. Now, this is the first time you're interacting with me and Nicole as a business where you're paying for something. So I want to make sure that I win you over. So when you pay $100, it's extreme value. like It's overwhelming in value. So we include a whole lot inside the $100 MBA for $100. It's one time. It's not reoccurring. So you do feel like you can trust us when you come to buy something. This is the same concept of having a best-selling book. Tim Ferriss is a huge entrepreneur and he became very popular and very famous as an entrepreneur because of a book they wrote that's called The 4-Hour Workweek. It influenced a lot of entrepreneurs. And that book doesn't cost much. A book costs like $10 or something and he doesn't get $10, you know. I think in royalty fees, most people get $1.25 or something. But the point is, is he has a platform now. People have bought his book and they can trust him now with purchasing something later on. Now, you asked me if we pitch things to our members. I don't like the word pitch because it sounds like I'm cajoling them or convincing them or swindling them into buying something. What I like to do is just make them aware of what we offer outside what they purchased because some people want to take things to the next level. They want some coaching. We do offer coaching or they may be looking for a tool to use to better their business and that would be our webinar software, Webinar Ninja. So I would not be able to cultivate that customer unless I've built that trust. And the reason why it's $100 and it's extreme value, I know it sounds like I'm leaving money on the table, but for me, trust is more important. 
and I will do the same in the next product that they buy from me. I wanna make sure that, say for example, they, they do buy Webinar Ninja, I wanna make sure that they feel like it's above and beyond what they paid for. That's when people feel like they got a deal, when they feel like they got a good value. Have you ever gone on a vacation and felt like, wow, that was well worth the money I spent? Because you felt like you got above and beyond what you spent. And you'll go to that place again, or you'll go with that agency or whatever you used to go on that vacation because you felt like it was a good deal. Now this is a very long-term view in business, and I wanna get into that in detail, but before that, I wanna give love to our sponsor, harrys.com. Shaving can be a pain. It can be uncomfortable, it can cause razor burn, it can cause nicks, and on top of that, it can be outrageously expensive. That's why I love using Harry's. Really, I use Harry's, I love their blades. They're about half the price of the big brand blades, and they ship for free to your doorstep. And their actual blades, they're better. They're made in Germany and they have their own entire factory. They actually have bought a factory out so they can create these high quality blades. So why pay $32 for an eight pack of blades? It's half the price with Harry's. And with Harry's, you get a better shave that respects your skin, face, legs, and your wallet. I love using Harry's blades. I have the Winston, it's got a great handle, it's got a great weight to it. It gives me a smooth, easy shave. And the starter set, it's an amazing deal for $15. You get a razor, moisturizing shaving cream, and three razor blades. And with promo code MBA, you can get $5 off that amazing deal. And Harry's makes a great gift, actually. I love using the products that we talk about here on the Hunter All MBA show. And this one, I really, really enjoy. So go to harrys.com right now, and Harry's will give you $5 off if you type in my coupon code MBA with your first purchase. That's harrys.com, enter coupon code MBA at checkout. $5 off, guys, and start shaving better. When I say long-term view, I mean that you're going to sacrifice money for a bit. Because yes, you can make more money with a monthly or an annual fee with your you know, informational product. But you should have an entry level product where you earn trust. And yes, I can charge more for the $100 MBA. I can make it $100 a month and still have members and make more money. But I'm chasing trust and not chasing sales at this point in my business. Not my business as a whole per se, but in this point of business where I'm interacting with a customer for the first time, they're buying something from me. I wanna make sure that they feel like they didn't make a mistake, that they don't have buyer's remorse, that they feel like this is incredible value. I wanna set the standard so they know that this is what they're gonna expect in the next product they buy, in the next service they buy, and whatever they do with me. So having this great value product in your entry level really can cultivate some great trust. Brad, I hope that answers your question. And if any of you guys have any questions, please send them over to us at contact at 100mba.net or you can speak it, record it, and we'll play right here on the show using our speak it option. Head over to the show page to do that at 100mba.net slash show. Every weekend, it's Q&A weekend, and we'd love to answer your question. Guys, just a quick reminder, if you love the $100 MBA show, you're going to love our new podcast, Webinar Ninja, which talks about how to teach, how to present, how to sell, how to communicate effectively with your audience using webinars. We're really trying to clean up the world of webinars with this initiative, with not only the podcast, but also the platform. You can learn all about it on the podcast. Just go and search Webinar Ninja on iTunes.